be brought to you by the following sponsors. Tell me. You understand the rules now? That's where you're headed. If you want to save your precious friends. And this world. Persona and two Yosuke's. Don't be fooled. That's a fake me. Don't get in my way. Persona. Shadow. It's a fake that was made with a chunk of a shadow. A chunk of a shadow? General Teddy set this up. He supposedly made these things to force us to fight. The thing is, we can summon our personas here too. We have to beat them all and move on. Let ourselves lose. And also, you know this too. The culprit behind Lavish's kidnapping is doing this as well. Right. I don't know what they're after. But let's defeat this thing and keep going. <laughs> Morons! You still don't, don't get it, do you? You're both going down here. Don't act so tough. You might be a copy of me, but there's no way you can beat you and me at the same time. <laughs> Two against one, huh? We don't being all fair and square, but I see you'd rather play dirt. This is burning, you can't do anything unless you're a puddle together. You're completely forgetting the rules. The P1 climax is supposed to be all one on one battles. I'm not going to take on two of you at once. Now, bring on the ring. Can't you just go on and fight when it's not against your friends? You 
you. Yes, yes, it's the lovely General Tank. I've been watching all this time, and what am I seeing? I poured my heart into making things who look exactly like you, all to set up a good fight. What more do you want? Can it? With all that fair and square stuff you were saying, were we somehow not supposed to think something's going on with all this? Yosuke, how cruel. I just want to feel your fighting spirit. Well, this is fine with me, you know. At such a leisurely pace, the world really will be destroyed. Now, hurry up and fight to the death. Bastard. Even the fake one's not half as cute as he thinks. Calm down, Yosuke. Getting flustered is exactly what they want. Well, welcome back, people. Welcome back to the welcome back to Persona 4 Arena Ultimate. I was gonna I was going to say that in, in, in the beginning, but I don't want to waste the time with the storyline. And sorry that I haven't been post, haven't been like putting any videos up. Uh, I just, I'm really lazy. <laughs> that's that's actually the true fact. I get lazy with the videos, but but now I am back, and maybe I'll remember to post more videos later. And uh, well, the character I am going to choose. I did not see who that was, but whoever we're fighting, I mean whoever we're fighting with, better be a good one. Oh, Yosuke. He's my third, third favorite character in the game. Uh, besides the rest of anybody else, I'll tell I'll tell you guys later who uh, who is the other favorite characters. Here's the thing: I don't even know how to how to block. Uh, that is going to be the harder part for me. I don't know how I gain these kinds of skills. <laughs> There we go. Good match. Nice work. That is the funny thing about me, I don't even know how to block. But here we go, here's the story. on that part, you know. Though, that doesn't make me feel better about seeing this happen so many times. Many times? Did you fight a fake version of someone else before coming here? Uh, yeah. It was, um, a fake you. Me? Huh. Are you alright? Oh, sure. I figured out pretty quick that it wasn't you. These guys aren't trying too hard to act like us. It's not like before when they were trying to upset us. That makes it even more disturbing. They're not trying to hide and they're fighting fair. That seems really fishy in itself. Right? Well, the rule where you have to win one-on-one -on -one before moving on seems to be the same as before. But something's telling me we shouldn't believe everything they're saying either. Teddy okay? Have you seen anyone else? Huh? Oh, Teddy sniffed out Yukiko with that nose of his and took off to find her. 
some help that guy was. You have no idea how much trouble I had to go through to find him. Well, he showed up just in time to save me. Anyway, I'm relieved to hear Teddy's nose is working. Let's leave the others to him. We need to get to Yasugami High. There's not much time left until this supposed end of the world. Mm. Whoa, wait a sec. That fake said the same thing, but why Yasugami High? I don't know why, but it looks like that's where we have to go. See? Yasugami High? What's happened to it? We'll have to go there and find out. Tsuru san and her friends are probably there too. Damn it, everything's going according to their plan, huh? Yeah, but we have to do this. I'll be counting on your help, Yosuke. Uh, What's the matter? Nah, you're right. It's not that there's nothing we can do without each other, it's that with each other we can do anything. Again? How much more are they going to bring up those painful memories? Whoa! Holy crap! It really is on top of our school. To be continued.
Why? It's out of batteries? Red fog? Yeah. 
Now it's up to the fight. Chie versus Yukiko. Who would win? Uh, just, I don't think I'm actually good with Chie because I never played her that much. But, bring on the ring, they said. Bring on the match.
we're the real ones. I'm glad you're safe, Chie. You, Kuna. Yeah, you sure seem like the real deal, you Kuna. What about me? I mean, we've already dealt with our fakes. Huh? So you guys ran into them too? Yeah, we've defeated the fake Yosuke and myself. Is that a fake Yukiko? Seem that way. Actually, what's going on? Is this really the real world? Looks like it. Even though shadows are running around, we can use our personas. But that might as well be in the TV. The world's going on. Calm down, will ya? We don't know anything either. The Midnight Channel came on and General Teddy suddenly declared war on us. Afterwards, the town got swallowed up in that red fog. The Midnight Channel? Then is what happened with Labyrinth really not over? Don't tell me. Did you not see the Midnight Channel? Uh... <laughs> Seriously? I can't believe this. It came up so many times. Why didn't you check? No one said specifically to watch for it. All this happened suddenly while I was out watching Buku. So I don't know what's going on either. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, the town's in serious danger right now. That reminds me. General Teddy said something earlier about the world ending. Right. General Teddy says that if we don't win this tournament within the hour, the world will end. Apparently, he's holding Yitsuru-san and her friends captive in that tower. What? He is? Actually, I just noticed. Where's Yukiko? And is Kanji Kun okay? Teddy's headed over to Yukiko, and I doubt Kanji will go down that easily. We don't have any time right now. Let's leave those two to the others. We need to go rescue Mitsuru-san's group at once. Chie, believe in your friends. You're gonna believe in your friends and be the winners of the P1 Climax, is that right? Playing friends here? That's freaking lame. My name's Shomi Nazuki, and you guys are in my world now. Come on, no need to get all nervous. I came all this way to say hello. behind these shenanigans. Uh, you are? That's right. I'm the one that invited you here, and I'm showing myself right now. Now that I've shown you the way here, it's time for a showdown with show. <laughs> Get it? 
Sorry, we got more guests of honor. You guys are just the ginger on the side of the sushi. So, all you get to do is look for your friends in the tower. But we have plenty of fun in store for the investigation team. You'll sure look forward to it. <laughs> still in town. If Teddy's nose is working, we may have met up already. So we're gonna leave that guy to just Teddy and Kanji? I mean, now Del and Rise might find their way here, but... No, that show guy said they have more guests of honor now. At the very least, he's not after us for the time being. Oh. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Who are these guests of honor? When we watched the Midnight Channel, Labrys wasn't one of the captives it showed. The shadow operatives of Mitsudu-san's team. No one said the ones we met are the only members. If their leader is in danger, it's only natural they'd send a rescue squad. Oh, right! Also, after the thing with Labrys, Mitsudu-san mentioned something about maybe having some idea who the culprit might have been. If that culprit is the show we met, it wouldn't be strange if he already knew Mitsudu-san and her team from before he met us. So, the guests of honor he mentioned could be the other shadow operatives. Come to rescue Mitsuru-san's group. That's right. The show is underestimating us. If Yukiko and the others meet up with the shadow operative backup, they won't lose easily. Not even the show. Wow, you really are smart. All right. If that's the case, we should get up this tower quick and rescue Mitsuru-san's group while he's not around. Yeah. It's the same here as in town. The layout of the classroom is all out of whack. I wonder how long this hallway goes on for. We keep passing by the same room. That reminds me. I remember a story like that. 
something about the seven mysteries of the school and a hallway that loops endlessly? So, do you think that show guy really is the culprit? I don't know. It's pretty suspicious that he's taking credit for all this, if you ask me. But then again, he didn't seem like an ordinary guy. When his eyes gleamed red, I lost control over my muscles. Like he commanded them, don't move! If that was a type of hypnosis, it's pretty powerful. If show is the culprit, he could have controlled those hijackers the same way. and it did kind of look like it. I'm sure of it. I've never seen a school uniform like that besides ours. Then does that mean Sho goes to Yasugami? What? You're serious? Uh, is it possible for us to not know about a guy who sticks out that much? Hmm. I did think from last time that the culprit would be someone with ties to Mitsuru-san. I still can't shake that theory. Oh, maybe he transferred here. Or it could be his older brother's uniform. Dude, don't go drawing up the culprit's whole family tree just on a hunch. I bet he's just a ghost or something like that. Maybe he has a grudge against our school. What is it? Be on guard. Don't leave my side. Time no see. Are you serious? <laughs> Adachi son. To be continued. And on the next episode of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. And see you later. Bye bye.